Are we live? We are live recording. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M C C A R T H Y S at AmherstMA.gov. No in person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And so we'll call the meeting to order at 5 o'clock p.m. and take a roll call of attendance. Hallie? Here. Dylan? Here. And I'm here, so the three are here, and Doug and Gaston are absent. Um, okay, is anyone here for public comment that's general public comment unrelated to any of the hearings um, or anything else on the agenda. So if you have something related to some, um, one of the items on the agenda, just hold off until your time comes up. But if not, if it's general, raise your hand. Nope, yeah, okay. If anybody right. you recognize, you can click the raise hand button on the bottom or if you're on the phone, you can press star nine. That's right, thank you, Steve. Um, okay, so moving on to our special short terms. These are both uh, UMass top of the campus with uh, Jen Lynn Fontaine. Is anyone here from the university? This is these are just the lacrosse games, right? Which we've done before. Yeah, there was this little um, scheduling snafu last time, so um, all but two were approved. Okay, so there's so two that two that didn't make two. it on the agenda last time. All right, so this is SST-23-12 and SST-23-14. Um, are there any questions or comments about these from either anyone here? No, if not, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? I second. Thanks, Hallie. We'll take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. Um, so that is SST-23-12 and-14 are approved um, three to zero with two absent. And then we move on to, so we're gonna do Nil Nilkanth next, Steve, or the common Vic? Why don't we push to Nilkanth? Okay, so this is, oh, new liquor license applications. Um, amendment of approved application, Nilkanth Associates LLP doing business as Country Crossroads, Six University Drive, manager Akshar Patel and we are so, people here for that. Could you just run through this? First, yeah, Steve, so just to please? give a little context. So we received this letter from uh, the ABCC and um, it's kind of uh, confusingly spaced, but they checked that the investigator recommends no ap application or return to the licensing authorities with no action um, because there was a couple things missing. Um, they wanted um, a correction to be made here, uh, which the applicant's done. Um, and here we, we, uh, we did that on the um this, these are just check marks saying it won't be pledged and uh and that they're the, the applicant has not had any history of violations just some check boxes that were missed um the quarry forms missing notary stamp they actually were notarized but it was the uh the uh, superior in my opinion old-fashioned um paper embossing notary and not the uh, stamp so they might not have been visible so i will try to okay. point that out to the abcc and um this section was that there was bank statements pr um, provided for a new time but then patel um, and they were asking for more information about this and um, an affidavit being required from the person um, that they will not have an interest in a license. So the applicant has provided those things. Um, the ABCC requests that all corrections and documents be forwarded to the Amherst Licensing Board. And after a review and approval, the board will forward all documents to the ABCC. So um, this, uh, this entry on your agenda is for that review and approval. And um, Dick and uh, Akshar, are you able to hear us and talk? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, good. Uh, thank you, Steve. I think that was an accurate summary. And uh, I would just like to ask if anybody knows what LAI stands for. I uh, I think they are referring to the, um, the, it does not have those initials. I don't remember exactly what it's called off the top of my head, but there is a, a local um, a form that it used to be called a Form 43 that the town fills out. And I think they call it a licensing authority certification now. So I don't know uh, if that's some kind of jargon that 
they use internally or outdated terminology, but there is a check box in that for reconsideration. So I uh, am almost certain that's what they're referring to. Okay, would, when you return the documents, would you point that out and, and, uh, and yes. let, ask them to let us know if that's not the right thing? Yeah. Yes, I will. Okay, terrific. Thank you all for allowing these, these uh, tweaks to be fixed here. I think we're going forward smoothly. Um, sure, thank you. Um, okay, do, do, does anyone have any questions about the documents or the corrections? Made no. Um, if not, uh, Steve, what do you need a motion to look like? Um, I guess you could um, move to uh, approve the the new documents being submitted and forward them to the ABCC. Right. Uh, reiterating your earlier decision. I uh, would anyone like to make that motion? So moved. All right. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? A second. Thank you, Hallie. Any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Hallie? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent, and they've been approved. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Evans and Mr. Patel. Thanks for coming in. Um, OK, so what is up next? Oh, are we doing this, continuing the so, slow So um, Yeah, I guess why don't we, um, why don't we just do the official um, move to continue the spokes. And um, they, yeah, they, they did express that they were, and for anybody uh, in the audience for here for this, um, so we uh, had a bit of a, um, a hiccup with uh, the scheduling today. So we will only have quorum for 20 minutes and thank you for our uh, board members who were able to make it so we can get through a few things today. Um, the board was already scheduled to meet next week. So um, given the uh, short amount of time we have here, um, I would suggest the board uh, continues and the applicant has assented to do so um, to continue both of these spoke applications to next Thursday at five o'clock. Okay, so the one is already open. And then, so we're just gonna continue that one. And then the next, the change of manager, do we open and then continue it? I believe you would, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so is there a motion to continue the hearing for the new liquor license application for the spoke LLC doing business as spoke live? 111 Prey Street, all alcohol on premises, manager Colin Hughes to be continued to April 6th. So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? <laughs> Thank you, Hallie. Um, take a vote, Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. Three to zero with two absent. That um, is continued to um, April 6th. So now we're going to open the hearing for the change of liquor license manager application for the Spoke LLC doing business as the Spoke 35 East Pleasant Street um, manager, Rich Lupold. Um, is there a motion, a motion to open the hearing? So moved. Thank you. And a second? Second. Thank you, Hallie. We'll take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. Three, that is three to zero with two absent. The hearing is now open. Um, and this will be continued to April 6th. So is there a motion to continue the hearing for the Spoke LLC at 35 East Pleasant Street from two April 6th? So moved. Thank you. And a second? Second. Thank you, Hallie. We'll take a vote. Hallie? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye, three to zero with two absent. That hearing is continued until April 6th. Okay. So what is next? Are we going to um, do we do have this common Vic application. Is uh, is David Dolly in the audience? Are you here for the uh, Blue Mango application? If so, can you please raise your hand? All right. Yeah, we can. Um, we can move on to that one then. Okay. Does this require and this doesn't need an open hearing? Then. Um, no, it's just a common Vic. But just a common Vic. Okay. Yeah. All right, Mr. Dolly, welcome. Could you explain? Give us a little. Introduction yeah. to the Blue Mango. Yeah, hi. Can you hi. hear me? Yep. Okay, great. Yeah, so we would like to open a, a dessert cafe um, downtown. And it's basically, we're going to serve coffees, teas, and various desserts, uh, such as ice cream, uh, crepes, um, shaved ice desserts with fruit, and some cakes and cupcakes. And that's, that's, and also, you know, the, the tea, oh, and smoothies and bubble teas. So that's basically uh, what, what the 
the menu is. And um, also we have uh, some area for seating. So we're gonna be doing uh, some table service as well. So people can come in and sit down and someone will take your order. Um, and that's, yeah, it's basically a cafe with also a sit down area. And we hope to be open. Uh, the plan is like until 10 o'clock on weekdays and until 11 o'clock in the evening on Friday and Saturday evenings. Okay. So that is the plan. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Um, does anyone have any questions for uh, Dylan? Uh, yeah, just a quick question. 103, that's the same building with, uh, with Coronation Cafe and Pita Pockets and Panda East, that building? Correct. Got it. What, uh, maybe I just, I'm not seeing it in my agenda, just what was the, the where's your store in relation to all the other ones? Uh, it was previously Hair East Hair Salon. Oh, yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Um, I would just ask, do you have previous experience running a restaurant? Yeah, actually, um, I'm the original founder of the Crazy Noodles Cafe. Oh, wonderful. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. You, know, you know our quirky town. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So we did Crazy Noodles for about five years, and then we got tired and sold it to my wife's uh, sister. And so now we're going to try to get back into it. Wonderful. Okay. Dylan? Well, I was just going to say, well, in that case, I, I, I guess I'm going to say I, I look forward to it by uh, making the motion to approve. All right. Great. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Hallie. Um, any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. Hallie? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent. Uh, the Common Vic for Blue Mango is approved. Thank you so much for coming in okay. and best of luck with your new venture. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So that's what we're doing. That's it. Should we do, we could do the renewals really quickly. Yeah, oh, we yeah. could do the renewals. We could also, um, the farmer winery application, um, I, I told her not to come today, but it's kind of the same thing as they do every year. So you could, if you felt like you All could right. approve it, you could, or we could push it to next week. All right, I bet let's, we can do both of those really quickly. I'll bet we can. Let's see. Yep. So let's, um, so these are just renewals. Um, is there a motion to approve the common Vic renewals for CV-119, 120, and 121 uh, Dunkin' Donuts, Moji Tea, and Sibbies? Uh, so moved. Thank you, Dylan. Second. Thank you, Hallie. We'll take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. That is three to zero with two absent. And then the farm winery, we did that before, right? Home fruit. Yeah, wine. we've done that a few years. At the farmer wickets. Okay. Um, is there a motion to approve the farmer winery license for Lori Pitt Perkins doing business as home fruit wine? So moved. And a second. Second. Thanks, Hallie. Um, we'll take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. Three to zero with two absent. That application has been approved. Um, okay, great. So that knocks off everything except for the spoke, right? Yes. And so. Yes. All right. Great. Um, oh, wait. So uh, topics not reasonably anticipated. Um, anything? Yes, I guess I will say. <laughs> Surprisingly, <laughs> the, the biggest updates we've had in a while, uh, I'll be quick though, is um, the remote meetings has been continued for two years. Okay. Um, the town is looking into ways to potentially offer hybrid as their capacities allow, but for now it will be status quo. Um, and um, the state has approved, um, has also extended for a year the outdoor, the kind of easy permitting of outdoor dining and the um, of alcohol, outdoor alcohol service and the, um, the uh, um, uh, takeout alcohol as well, so. Okay, Thanks. great. Um, I have, so next time on the 6th, we're also going to be talking about rental registration. Mandy Johanneke sent those around and Steve sent them to you. She won't be able to make that meeting, but I think she had a couple of questions in her email and I'll see if she has anything else just so that we can start talking about it because it's not, uh, it's been pushed back a little bit, but we still probably need to figure out what we want to do with some of the questions. And um, I think that's the only other thing I have. Does anyone else have anything else? Um, I told Steve today I have to leave at six next week. Okay. All right. But 
we're as speedy as this. We should. I be. know. I know. We should get through it all, right? <laughs> like it. The uh, yeah. With all this time to spare, I'll also say if you guys have never had Sibby's calzones, try Sibby's calzones. They are fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. For a long time, that was our go-to pizza in South Amherst. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Okay. All right, so uh, our next meeting is, well, next week, next Thursday at 5, and... Um, Do you all anticipate it. being able to make it for that, uh, besides how he's leaving his ticks? I'll be here. All righty. Okay. Yeah, I can all make right. that one. We'll yeah. uh, check a little more thoroughly next time. Okay. <laughs> but thank you all for coming in, and right. uh, appreciate it, and um, the uh, the spoke wasn't, um, wasn't really upset at all, so... Oh, great, okay. Um, so we should be able to give that a, a good thorough review next time. Fantastic. Yes. All right. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. And a second. Thanks, Hallie. Um, we'll take a vote. Hallie? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That's three to zero, two absent. We're adjourned at 515. All right. <laughs> good work. Thank good work. you, Dylan, a lot. Thank you all very much. All right. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.